Stave off defeat. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. DA, take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. We have all heard the rumors regarding Kyrie Irving's moodiness. His teammate Kevin Durant said, Kyrie is an artist. He has his way of doing things, and I support him 100%. Irving said, Human beings have mood swings. I don't have to be perfect. My teammates know who I am, and I'm proud of who I am. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Ingram the three and Zion the four. On Joe Ball out there at Bloodson, and it's Adams in at the five down low. And looking at the Nets, they've got Kyrie Irving. Duran is out there with Harris. Then there's Griffin, and it's Harden in at the two spot. the next off the tip. Pass to Griffin. Back to Harden. Williamson with the block. Zion just aggressive there and great timing. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face physical high energy plays like that one. Here's Irving. Here's Irving. Here's Durant. Hey, you want three reasons why Steven Adams is effective? Let me give them to you. Size, length, and athleticism. Ingram passes to Williamson. Over Irving. And it's Williamson missing. For Brooklyn, they've gone 0 3 from the field to start the game. And then Durant with the jam. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. Ball finds Adam. Now Ingram. It's tipped. Adam's shot is good. And now just over a minute played here in the first. And the pass to Harden. Jacks up a three. No good there. And New Orleans will come the other way. They won their last game Monday night. I, I like their aggressiveness in that one. No one's going to give you anything. You've got to go out and take it. And going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Here is Harden. Zion Williamson making his last shot. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Hart. Part of why I think he creates so many opportunities for up. And slam dunk by Ingram. Oh, Kev, he put some <laughs> anger behind that one. You're telling me. Passes it to Harden. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And Kyrie doing a good job of just setting everybody up, making sure there's a great pace and tempo to each possession offensively. And Adams kicks to Bledsoe. Back to Adams. Five on the clock. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel.
for Brooklyn. They've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Irving passes to Harden. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And a staple of Harden's attack. Sometimes it seems he's better finishing through contact on the drive. Here's Ingram. That shot missing. Nice defense from KD. Makes it off the glass. KD's got his second basket of the night. How about those long strides Durant quick in the open court and then right to the rim. But so passes to Williamson. It's not going to go for him. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Here's Irving. Excellent D there from Ball. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Misses from close range. And it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. Irving from long range. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Oh, great ball movement there. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Still scoreless so far in this one. Bloodsoe outside. Here's Williamson, and it's off the back rim. No good. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. And Harden is such a creative scorer, especially when he gets in close to the basket. Now here's Adams. Can they get it? And Ingram lays it in. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Harden the pass to KD. Now oh, here's Ingram. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. Ball no good. Brooklyn leading by seven. Harris outside. Slam dunk by Harris. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, we'll have to settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Brooklyn's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Durant, it's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists tonight. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And it's Ingram missing. Burnett shooting an impressive 60% early. Inside. Free throw line jump shot. Pelicans with the rebound. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. To the inside. Here's Adams, and that one good. Adams has got his second bucket. And this is where Lonzo Ball gets you excited. As a teammate, he's going to get you the ball. Pass to Harden. And he makes good on the way. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Irving. And slammed up by Ingram. That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. Dinwiddie passes to Jordan and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Right wing. Clark kicks to Ingram. New Orleans moving the ball around. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. Jordan with some nice deep. And it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. They have a nine-point lead. Dinwiddie outside. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Pass to Johnson. And here is Ingram. And he makes that one. Ingram's got eight points. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Jordan finds Harden. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's the pass to Hayes. Passes it to Johnson. That shot, no good. Great tee that time from Green. Well, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. And that one's good, Ingram. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. That's to Dinwiddie. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. He's got five. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Pelican shooting their first foul shot of the night. Herman Gomez has checked in for James Johnson. Free throw good from Hayes. Brooklyn leading by nine. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. with possession here. Nine-point game. Pass to Harden. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Harden's got 13 points. Now six of eight from the field. 75% just scoring the ball at will. Jordan against Hernan Gomez. Over to the wing. Shot clock at five. Hart, no good. Brooklyn leading by 11. Here now is Dinwiddie. It will not find the hoop. It's his third miss. He has made two. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Now Hernan Gomez. 
Here's Hart. No points in the game yet for him. Hernan Gomez passes to Hart. Shoots over Dinwiddie. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Over Hayes. Offensive rebound. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. And the Nets lead by 13. Well, DeAndre Jordan dominates this game on both ends around the glass. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. And it's Jordan with the jam. Well, determined that time to get to the rim, anticipating the pass, and a rim rock up. Down low, and slam dunk by Ingram. And this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Frank, he came with force, and that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. And yes, it's good. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area just dominating, controlling that spot. And, and the speed of Ingram makes him a nightmare for defenses in pick and rolls, constantly keeping them guessing. James Harden getting it done for Brooklyn. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We come back right after this. back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And the Nets pretty much in control here, it would seem. Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So the Pelican five right now. They've got Hart. Running Gomez out there with Hayes. Then it's Ingram. And it's Alexander Walker in at the point. And that one's good. Ingram. And this is where that length shows off on particular plays like that. Still able to score. Passes to Irving. Here's Alexander Walker. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. This is to Hayes. Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. Shot clock at six. On loads. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. That's leading by nine. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Uh, we all know how devastating Kyrie can be scoring the basketball, but very encouraging to see how he's trying to set up his teammates as a playmaker right here. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. in for Jordan. Kevin Durant comes in for Jeff Green. And Harris subbed in for Bruce Brown. And so here is New Orleans. They trail by 11. Ball, the pass to Hart. Now here's Williamson. Back to Hart. Lock at six. Williamson trying to free himself up. Hart, no good. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Pelicans trail by 11. Williamson with it. He's picked up by Irving. Hart, no good. Harris against Ball. Durant kicks to Irving. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Irving's got six. 
Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Pass to Bledsoe. Here's Williamson, and Durant sends it back. Wow, the large wingspan of Durant on full display. What a block there. The Pelicans have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. Pass the ball. Here's Williamson, defended by Durant. Fires from 14. That one's not going to go. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. The Nets shooting their first free throw of the night here. Adams, he's checked in for the Pelicans. throw drops for KD. Kind of tough to be a big wing in the LeBron James era. You're constantly compared to what it is he does, but Durant has risen to that challenge and uniquely qualified to be an elite player. Here's Hart. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To the middle. Here's Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. A pass to Irving. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. Bloodsoe outside. Here's Williamson. Adams trying to free himself up. And that one's good. Williamson. Six points for Zion Williamson. Unselfish play there by Bledsoe. Does a great job scanning, noticing somebody's open, get them the ball. They grab their own miss. KD with the bucket. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Ball, the bounce pass. Eight feet away. Another one falls for New Orleans. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Pass to KD. Outside for Griffin. Ball against Irving. That's good from Harris on the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. Ball feeling it out a bit. Puts up a three. Brooklyn with the rebound. Durant's got eight rebounds in this game. Outside Irving. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Irving's got 14. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Here's the lob to Adams. An emphatic L.U. jam. Well, not many times does Adams get his number called for plays like that, but the oop there looked good. Durant with a wide open look. Again, the Nets for two. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Pass to Williamson. Over Durant. Adams trying to free himself up. And it's Williamson missing. Three on three. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Bledsoe. Takes the 13-footer. Shooting it with more confidence now. Look at his face. He didn't look quite right in the opening minutes. Finding it now. Timeout, timeout. timeout called. The Nets. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team.
James Harden. He's checked in for Brooklyn. Ball against Irving. Pass to Harden. And Harden with the stuff. And once Harden has momentum behind him, watch out. They love seeing the beard flush it down there with some power. Here's Adams. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his third assist on the night. Outside Irving. Outside for Griffin. Off target from three-point range. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And it's Harden with the ball for Brooklyn. Over ball. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And it is easy to get spoiled watching Harden. He's had so many games like this in his career, but you still got to appreciate what he does. Ball. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. This is his first free throw of the game. He's off on the first. Stephen Adams, one of the players that we talk about whose numbers really never tell you the whole story about how much he impacts the game. Sets a ton of screens and sets a ton of tone for this team on both ends of the floor. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Joe Harris. And it's Bruce Brown in for Irving. Al Harden, he's got 19. Brown outside to the paint and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Now how about the power from DJ there slamming it down. Alexander Walker passes to Adams. Here's the lob to Adams. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And how sweet a play was that. As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Now here's Durant. Feeds it to Johnson. And there it is for him. Johnson's got his first pass. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Bounce pass from Durant. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the length of green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. For Brooklyn, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Free throw good, Green. And the former Hoya, Green, a, a ranging forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Hayes, he's checked in for the Pelicans. So he gets them both. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Outside, ball. With some arc, a rebound by the Nets. Harden's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Now here's Johnson. The pass to Hayes. Six to shoot. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Now that's impressive finish and getting the hoop to go from Lonzo Ball. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Lonzo is doing a better job at this stage of taking his game just a lot more serious than when he came into the league. 
Now, here is Harden. 19 points in the game. For three, Durant. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Ball, the pass to Johnson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. And they made Ingram fight for that one, but he's not afraid to get physical. This is a good sign. Pelicans shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And that one falls for Ingram. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Hernan Gomez has checked in for James Johnson. Old free throws, good for Ingram. Well, when you make these kind of improvements in your game, you're putting in a lot of work in the offseason. Brandon Ingram growing up right in front of us. Harden, that's good. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Ball, the pass to Alexander Walker. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Jeff Green picks one up. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Tyler Johnson, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. He's off on the second. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Here's Brown with the three. Pelicans pull it in. Comes pass Ingram. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. The Nets making a switch here. Dinwiddie's checked in. And a change for the Pelicans. Bledsoe's checked in. Now here's Harden. 22 points for him. Here's Dinwiddie. He feeds it to Jordan. Yep, that one goes. Jordan's got 10 points in the game. Well, this is where DeAndre Jordan's speed as a big pays off. A super dangerous pick-and-roll player when he sprints out of it. Bledsoe against Dinwiddie. Well, he's just really struggling right now and with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. Shot's good by Bledsoe. Harden scanning the floor. Outside, Green. Nice catch and finish on the alley -oop. And DJ knows his role on the offensive end. It's pretty simple. An efficient shooter in the post and a great roller. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kevin, what has allowed you all to build this lead in the first half? Well, we've just been playing hard. Those guys are tough to guard. They cut so hard. They play well together. And uh, uh, we had a decent half. we got to keep it going. Kevin, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. How about the playoff atmosphere? We're going to break down all the first-half action for you. Looking at the Nets, 
the confidence they've shown throughout this NBA Finals has continued with their outstanding first half performance tonight. They're playing like they can feel that the championship is only one half away from being theirs. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nets' first half? Yet again, we're seeing the offensive brilliance of James Harden, able to see openings develop before they actually happen. And when you have that kind of anticipation, it makes you nearly unguardable. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans play? They didn't show enough toughness in the paint. Deep. When you're getting dominated in the post, it sets a bad tone. You always want to win that physical battle in the area. Otherwise, you, you wind up with a score like this. I don't believe I'm watching this. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. There must be ice water in his veins. Such an important game, and he plays superb basketball in that opening half. Still interesting to see if in this second half he can find ways to get to those same spots. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We've got DeAndre Jordan, Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Griffin, and it's Harris in at the three spot. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. And Brandon Ingram showing some toughness that time. That's a strong finish. Here is Harden. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. Kept alive. And it's Budso off the drive, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. For New Orleans, they have shot 75% at the stripe, 6 of 8, and Brooklyn making a change here. Durant's checked in. Eric Bledsoe, when he's in these games and, and you can see he's got hyper focus, he can become a big, big problem. Athletic, plays both ends of the floor, and that power from him at the guard position is, is very unique. Not quite enough defense that time around, just lucky he was off. It's good. Ingram's got four points this quarter. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Irving with the bounce pass. Harden draws the double. And here's Harris from the arc. And Griffin slams it in. Hard not to like Blake Griffin when he's doing things like that. Looking to throw it down every time around the rim. Ingram against Griffin. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 27. They are on fire right now. That's four straight mates. Left side, Harris. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Nets have gone three for three at the line tonight. Shooting for Brooklyn. Joe Harris. Two shots. That's good from Harris. drops them both. The Pelicans have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Ludzo passes to Williamson. Ingram trying to get open. And Ball slams it in. Zion plays within the system. Right there, very unselfish. To the middle, Durant. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his eighth assist in the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. 
love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. One of the stories here, James Harden getting it done today. They got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. shot shot is good off the back rim and in Ingram's got eight points here in this quarter and what a great start to the second half they've hit everything they've looked at thus far Durant kicks to Harden the basket good off the assist from Durant well, Kevin knows when he can score so he waits to make sure that somebody else doesn't have a better shot before he does that good play there passes it to Ingram And the shot goes down. Ingram's got 31. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Checked in. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Pass to Durant. Griffin, no one around him. A three-pointer off the mark. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Here's Hart. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Again, the Pelicans score. Well, if the defense is going to give up this kind of shot, they're challenging you to prove you can make that, and, and Zion showing he can. Now, here is Irving. He's got 14. Durant drawing the double team. Hands it from downtown. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Williamson. Second chance effort. Adams' shot is good. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Brooklyn leading by 22. Pass to Harden. From deep. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. And there's the pass to Hart. Williamson with it. 
Shoots over KD. They get it again. Here's Adams. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Back to Harden. Over Williamson. Harden, no good. The Pelicans shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. Hart, that's good. Hart's got his first points in this one. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Hart following the bucket by the Nets to the inside. Williamson, the pass to Hart. And a miss there on the triple. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Harden, that's good. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Now, here's Ball. He's got seven. Oh, the ball! Oh, and they're real. And the pitch going wild as Lonzo goes up and over. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Substitution here for Brooklyn. Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Harris. Brown, he's checked in for James Harden. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Irving. Now, here's Dinwiddie. He has five. Here's Durant, and he uses the glass on the way. Durant's got seven points here in this quarter. The Pelicans shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Hayes trying to break through. He gets it in there. Sometimes you like to see guys go with the bounce pass, threading it through there perfectly. Dinwiddie outside. And he gets the bucket. Dinwiddie's got seven points in the game. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And this will be his second and third shots of the line here. That's good from Ball. Ball hits them both. And the Nets with possession here. Dinwiddie with it. He's got seven. Pops it up for Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. Well, his length and then his quickness, Durant, you just can't cover the guy. An absolute nightmare matchup. And then you add the pick and roll to it. Ball, the pass to Hayes. The shot, no good. Jordan with some nice deep. The feed now to Durant. And then Durant with the top. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Let's a floater go. And it's ball in the corner. Rebounded by the Nets. Outside green. Dinwiddie against Ingram. Dinwiddie with the bucket. It's not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. 
Ball with it. Now Green defending. They get it back. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Ball goes up and lays it nice and easy. Ball's got 10 points here in the second half. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because it seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Brooklyn's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Passes to KD. Shoots over Ingram. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got his fourth rebound in this one. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. It's Brown on the wing. He's covered by Ball. Green deciding where to go with it. The teardrop falls in. Green's got eight points. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Ball, the pass to Alexander Walker. Six on the shot clock. They double him with Green. That's good from Johnson on the assist by Ball. Johnson's got his second basket of the game. Nice job getting to the basket. When Johnson has a good look, he doesn't pass it up. Back to Dinwiddie. Taken away by Hayes. And Ingram with a clear path to the basket. And slam dunk by Ingram. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Now, here's Dinwiddie. He's got nine. Well, Jordan just wreaking havoc on the rim now. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks on the wing, Johnson. Down low. Hayes down low. He's against Jordan. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. For New Orleans, they have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. Jackson Hayes at the line for two. Free throw good from Hayes. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 17 seconds left in the third quarter. Ludzo against Dinwiddie. Launches a three. A shot. No good. And so it's Brooklyn in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And we'll be right back after this. One quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So it's Brooklyn now on the court for the Pelicans getting the fourth quarter going. We've got Herman Gomez and it's a one-do in at the three slot. Green kicks to Johnson. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Marshall with the steal. Left side, ball. Guarded by Green. And it's in there. Bernie Gomez has got his first points of the game. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. 
Pass to Shannon. Let's it go with a three. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Inside. Great pass to set up the lay-in. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Green. Now, here's Shamit. Just five on the clock. Offline from the top of the key. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Here's Paul. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. So many young guards come into the league without a floater. And after a couple of seasons, you realize how effective it can be. Lonzo showing it there. Now here's Johnson. Green finds Shemp. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. And Gomez has got rebound number five here tonight. Outside, ball. The pass to Marshall. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And it's getting late, guys, but all of a sudden they have hope when just a little while ago it looked like hope was lost. Passes it to Shamit to stop the drought. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Outside, ball. Softly drops in the floater. Ball's got four points in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Shamit. He can't get that one to fall. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's good for Marshall. A platoon swap here for Brooklyn. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Brooklyn. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. To the right side. Griffin the open look. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Ball against Harris. Ball the pass to Hernan Gomez. Now the young Spaniard Hernan Gomez, a good finisher around the basket. outside trying to get something going and the jam by Harden is taking it to the rack with power hammering down the two-hand slam here's Marshall Williamson trying to free himself up Marshall can't hit and they've only got a slight edge on the boards but it, it just feels a lot bigger Pelicans trail by 15 no good on the shot. Great D that time from Durant. Here's Irving. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his seventh assist in the game. You got to stay in front of Kyrie Irving at all times. Yeah, I said it here from the sidelines. Try doing it out there on the floor. Bledsoe dishes to Williamson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Blake Griffin. First one falls for There's such an aura around the way that Zion Williamson has come into the league. Such a different player, the way he moves, the way he jumps. There's no doubt that everybody has an eye on Zion.
Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Adams comes in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Brandon Ingram in for Marshall. And so he makes both from the line. Nets leading by 15. Outside Irving. Pass to Durant. Count that one. KD's got 27 points. Now that's a devastating move off the dribble. Durant getting to his favorite spots at will. Driven against Ingram. And slammed up by Ingram. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Durant. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's foul number two for him. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. So it's Brooklyn now. The lead is 15. Irving kicks to Griffin. Five to shoot. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Well, when Brandon Ingram's active on the defensive end, from whatever position, it's going to help out that particular possession. Good reaction there. And Durant comes to help. Adams right side, 16 feet away. Here's Williamson. He's off on that one. The Nets go the other way with it. Pass to Irving. There's the three. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Now here's Williamson. Out to the right wing. Here's Adams. They get it back. And it's sent back by P.D. to the inside and finished off by P.D. Well, elite scoring ability of Kevin Durant when he's in a groove like this every opportunity when he has the ball feels like a good one. Williamson that falls nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Ball against Irving outside Durant from downtown and the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Adams has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Pelicans trail by 18. Ball with it, and it's Harden picking him up. And Adams with the slam. This not part of the game plan. Steven Adams finding a way to offensively be impactful down low. And there's the pass to Harden. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. That free throw good from Harden. You know, it tells you something about Harden that he's led the league in free throw attempts so many times. This man is always in attack mode. And Durant sends it back. Harden outside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Taking two shots. Throw good, James Harden. And so he hits both. 
And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Williamson, the pass to Ball. Bledsoe kicks to Williamson. Bounce pass from Bledsoe. Williamson outside. Knocks down the three ball. Williamson's got nine points here in the second half. You got to admire right now Zion being very assertive and feeling timeout, like timeout. his team needs this kind of offensive confidence. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Take a look at the new balance player of the game, Anzo Ball. As the ringleader of their offense, he has been on his game tonight, spreading the ball around, keeping everyone involved, making sure the offense never gets bogged down. He's just given them just what they needed at that point guard position. Now, here is Irving. Here's Griffin. Good. And Harris gets the assist. And the Nets lead by 20. Blake Griffin right now working the inside game and has the skills to take you to school. And that one drops. Williamson's got 21. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. Pelicans ball. Here's ball. Now a timeout, timeout called by New Orleans. So looking it over, Adams outside. And he converts the last. Adams has got 19 points. Well, that's something Adams is working on right there. Finishing plays strong with a hand in his face. Outside, Katie. Pass to Griffin. Harris outside. In the corner, Irving with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over ball. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. To the paint. Here's Williamson. The shot that time. Not on target. Good work defensively by KD. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready, folks, for the Nets. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth. And they showed it in this game. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for James Harden. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't.
112 left in the fourth quarter. Outside, KD. And KD throws it down. So they maintain focus all night and, and along the way put on quite a show. Yeah, the cool thing is, is that they look like they're having a blast out there. Everyone on the same page, contributions across the board. Now here's Williamson. Shot clock at six. Doesn't go that time. The Nets go the other way with it. Durant, the pass to Irving. Kicks to Harris. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Ball against Irving. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. Outside for Bledsoe. Pass the ball. Back to Williamson. And they've done it. The new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. Well, this is a historic moment for these players and that coaching staff. And trust me, Kevin, they're going to enjoy every minute of what's coming to them, a night they will never forget for the rest of their lives. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone.